one of the things that's actually here is uh, Tableau Pulse and this whole thing about Tableau AI. And like this is sort of, this is actually going to be um, my second thing, which is Tableau Pulse is now in beta. Um, you can you can learn more about Tableau Pulse. You can go to this page and you can find out uh, lots of interesting things. Um, to get started, um, you can sign up for the beta, okay, to be turned on. And this is all great if you're a customer, but if you're not a customer, which I'm not, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I guess, I guess for some bizarre reason, <laughs> being part of the uh, Tableau community program and helping teach Tableau doesn't sort of qualify as, um, uh, you know, uh, being sort of up and up high enough on the list in the Salesforce process to kind of to kind of get people access to just see what it's like. Um, it's interesting because with embedding, you can do that. There's actually embedding demos that have generic username and passwords that you can go in and see what it's like. So it's not like Tableau aren't familiar with this. I keep doing it. It's not like Salesforce aren't familiar with this. Um, it's just a very strange dynamic. So yeah, to this day, I still don't have access to Tablet Pulse, so I can't show you anything. All I have done is talk about sort of the old um, pre-recorded setups of Pulse from conferences. I am 100% certain what we saw at conference was like a hybrid between the actual demos and uh, what I call Figma demos. So Figma is a um, it's a UX, UI design tool, and you can actually create very compelling user interface demos in it. Um, I think what we've been seeing at conference has been the vision piece and maybe very controlled demos of small parts of it that did work, especially when you're going between screens or you're seeing emails or you're seeing Slack. But then when we saw the product itself, I think we were seeing sort of the very early days of that. And the beta is being sort of very tightly controlled to make sure that um, you know, people are using it in a trusted way. I'm, I'm sure it's designed to kind of make sure that you know, Tableau doesn't break any rules in terms of giving people the wrong insights and then people basing decisions on that. I'm sure there's a whole sort of um, you know, legal rigmarole to get through. But nonetheless, been really frustrating to try and get my hands on it. My big concern with Tableau Pulse, and I'll just come out and say this now, I haven't tried it. I know some people have, they thought really good of it. I've, uh, two people that I trust have actually tried Tableau Pulse and have told me good things about it. It's made me really sort of excited to try it out, but this is the big but, this is the big but. My biggest concern with Tableau Pulse is that Tableau doesn't understand its core innovation. And I know that's a brutal, that's a brutal thing to say, but Tableau's core innovation was never the platform. It was never sort of the fancy, um, you know, drag and drop, whatever. Tableau's core innovation was helping people work through their data. It's, you could think of it as drag and drop, but I actually go further and I'd say, as a creator, when you're in Tableau desktop, and you connect to your data and you drag things around, you write a calculation, you drag things around, you answer a question, you go to the next one, you're moving around. But that, that in itself, that was actually the first thing that was released. That was the core innovation that brought it to people. Dashboards was a byproduct of that. Yeah, Needing to share that was a byproduct of that initial core innovation. And then the platform was a further, you know, uh, sort of, uh, consequence of that. So you build something cool, you discover an insight, you want to share it, let's put it into a dashboard. Okay, you want to get that dashboard in front of people. Oh, let's put it on a platform. That platform can be server or cloud, right? And now it's on server and cloud. Oh, let's add governance and trust on top of that. And I think where Tableau are now is they think of themselves as that latter thing, the platform. And they've got lots of platform thoughts, but they just run away from that core innovation a bit too much. And as a result, my big concern with Tableau Pulse is that it's going to be fantastic when it works. And then the question will come, which will be, well, how do you make it work well? And the tools you have at your disposal, if you're only looking inside of the Tableau platform, have not been brought to the same standard as Pulse in order to get it matching and singing and dancing. And this is sort of the big frustration with a lot of Tableau features. They tend to be, they tend to be really well thought through really well conceived, um, even to the point where like the first thing you see is always just the initial gambit. And then over the months, the devs and the product managers are just knocking it out of the park. They know their stuff. But, like I can't tell you how frustrated it is to have conversations with them where I'll turn up and I'll be like, right, I've been, I've been wanting to tell them about this. And I tell them about something, they're like, yeah, we know. 
Mike. <laughs> they all know. They all know about this stuff. The things you and I find frustrating, the things we see in the community forums, that feedback generally gets back to them. The issue comes around deciding what makes it onto the cutting blog, deciding what gets dev time, deciding what makes it onto the product feature list. That is a very tough thing to do. And as a company, you've got to make bold bets. You know, if you ask people for a faster horse and you you should have just you know plugged more horses onto it i think there's a saying about that but no one ever thought of a car right um, people wanted better phones and we all had blackberries with a button for every letter of the alphabet and then apple turns up with no buttons and just a screen and everyone's like wow that's what i want right and then everything followed that path so um my big concern is with tablet pulse it's just moving further and further away from the core innovation and as a result some of those other bits of the platform haven't been brought to that same level. The only exception, the only exception to this, I think, is Tableau Prep. Like, I have to say this because Tableau Prep has been, for me this year, the feature that's made me the happiest in the whole entire platform. They're just doing what people want. It's so simple. They're going onto the feature list. They're solving problems. They're bringing them through. And on top of that, we're finding more and more ways to bring it into the workflow, right? So, um, it's just it's just so rewarding to see a part of Tableau that is literally just working through the to-do list of the biggest pains and issues. And then on the other side, we have Tableau Pulse, which it's not that no one was asking for it. It's 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 kind of a, a big bold bet. And I do think technology is heading in this direction. I don't think it's a wrong sort of direction um from, from Tableau on this. But if I still have to fight with published data sources to make Tableau Pulse work, then Tableau Pulse won't work because many of the things that drive me insane about published data sources aren't going to get fixed in Pulse. They're just going to get exacerbated, if anything, because with Pulse, you'll get a bigger appetite for better quality data sources. And if you're still fighting with data sources the same old way, then it's just not going to um, sort of sing and dance. But this is all saying this without you know me ever trying it. I haven't tried it, haven't used it. I know there's an interface to build metrics. I've asked some questions about that ahead of time. I've even asked, you know, the product team at one point, look, what is your vision for the most optimal way to build data sources for this? Where am I doing that? Am I doing that in DBT? Am I doing it in the database? Or am I doing it in Tableau Prep? Or am I doing it in desktop? Tell me, where should I invest my time? And I still struggle to get what I feel is like a convincing answer. And I think there is one right answer. I don't think any one of those is going to be perfect, but I think one of those is going to be a lot better and so I kind of, I'm kind of looking to people and customers who are using Tableau Pulse to say, hey, we found that this works really well. And hopefully over the coming months, we'll find that answer and we'll be able to sort of um, uh, get, get, get to the bottom of that. Anyway, oh, I felt like I just went on a massive rant. It's not intended, intended as a rant. It's just, it's just I'm, I'm so passionate about Tableau. <laughs> There's just so many things that... They're just so small and simple. Um, it, it's crazy. And Simon has asked, what are the problems with published data sources? Um, when you publish it, let's, I'll do this very briefly, but, um, if you go to the Tableau ideas, let's just, um, let's just very quickly do this. So Tableau ideas. I'll actually go to this is, um, this is, uh, 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 page. Let's say for it. Um, oh, have they moved this? Uh, oh no, 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 no. Is this, have they moved this? Have they changed this? Oh, here we go. Thank God. Okay, I worry they moved it because you know, Salesforce. Anyway, um, this idea is Viz. Oh, they have moved it and it's not as good, but okay, fine. Um, oh, maybe we go to the ideas page. Yes, okay, this is what I was looking for. So if we go to the ideas page and you search for if you're wondering what's the problem with the feature, go to the ideas page, type in the feature, and filter to things that are still open, okay? And the, the, these are like the working list of things um, that, let's say, open. If I just say open, and then we sort by popular ideas, uh has it only got let's just do all i'm not seeing all of them i'm not seeing uh maybe because i put a space in data source uh, let's just try this let's just try this data source okay yeah so i this doesn't feel like the full list to me but nonetheless um you'll get a good mix and, and feel for all the different sort of issues 
Um, I can't go through in all of them here, but this is a pretty good list of the kind of things people want to do. The other thing with them is just working with them. Once you create a published data source, especially in desktop, that is that is it. It's locked down. You can't do anything more to it beyond that. You can't create relationships with it. Um, now, relationships are a fairly relatively new feature to Tableau, but on the flip side of that is actually pretty powerful. We should be moving as many people away from doing joins and blends where it's unnecessary and using relationships because it's much more powerful. Uh, Donna Bell Santos has got some great videos on this. Um, I've got some videos on this as well. Andy creeble has got some videos on this as well. So go check out all the content to kind of find out more about that. But um, to go back to my point about Pulse, if you're going to use good data sources to drive this really innovative feature, you have to give the people who build those data sources good tools. And if Tableau Prep is the answer to that, I'm not sure Tableau Prep is all the way there, even though it makes me super happy. I love Prep. I love everything about Prep. Um, published data sources are not quite there. Um, some of the other capabilities around the platform that kind of relies on you pushing that work back to the database. And that's fine as an answer, but if that's the answer, then, um, you know, Tableau Pulse doesn't stand on its own. You've then got to couple it with a really good database technology or couple it with a really good um, data engineering team to get the data sources working and singing so that people can actually use them properly and ask questions. So anyway. I'm going to stop there. That was a rant. Uh, <laughs> I did go on for a bit too long. <laughs> but we'll stop there. Um, on to the next one. I, I really do have to carry on.